So step one in changing any dirt bike tire is uh, now completed. Removing the tire. Yeah, we had to remove all the tread in a show of smoke and glory before we could even think about changing the tire on this thing. So we got this tire all ready to change. We're gonna be using uh, some pretty basic household tools like a, a five gallon bucket to hold a tire. We got our tire irons, a 12, and a valve core remover, as well as some soapy water. Should be able to get this one off pretty easy. This is gonna be pretty standard for uh, all dirt bikes and stuff like that. The only difference is this one's gonna have a dual beadlock set up, um, which is a little different from most bikes. It makes it a little bit more challenging, but we'll get it done. Next step, get cozy. Get cozy on the chair. Get some nice seating yeah, available. Yeah, that thing right in there. And get your valve core remover ready. That's gonna be our first step, is removing this valve core. And that's gonna get all the air out of the tube, uh, which is really necessary to get this tire off. We want every last bit of air out. What we wanna make sure is these bead locks are pushing all the way in to allow that bead to drop off. This one's a little bit stuck, so we're gonna give her some sugar right oh. there. So now, we're just gonna put some pressure. <laughs> Lean into it. Do you see this form? Check out the back. You see these legs? You gotta really put your, put your body into it. Next is our sudsy water. You wanna make sure you get that whole bead. What's that doing? nice and lubed up we want her to be nice and slippery so that bead will pop over the rim next we'll take our tire irons and uh i usually like starting opposite of a bead lock but since we have two i'll kind of just start over here what's this technique the brake caliper technique yeah that's those are my extra two hands might have to release this one a little bit to get this tire iron to catch. So we'll pop that one. Oh, there she goes. There you go. Now your bead's over the rim. Next step is going to be removing that inner tube and we want to do this carefully because this one has been holding air so we're going to try to reuse it. So you're going to remove that nut all the way off. You're going to push in and this is where you got to kind of dig in there with your hands. Grab a hold of that, that tube. Easy on her. Easy on her. This is an HD one and uh, just pull her out. Never pull out. Didn't realize how much abuse she really, you really put onto her, dude. No, it's mint. That's good. It's mint? <laughs> okay, we'll throw her back in. It's mint. <laughs> uh, now that we have this side off, we're gonna wanna flip her around and- uh, Break the bead again? Break the bead again, so this oh, is- let me get, let me get that side view. Remember, you, gotta get you, want, down. you want legs spread. Farther than shoulder width. You want to bend over. Get some nice arch in your back as well. <laughs> Maybe not the arch, but keep Maybe on going. Not, no, no arch. Okay. But regardless, you lay in the rear. Oh boy! Pop you just popped her right off. Yep, brother. You one, know so. One thrust. Yeah. Jeez, that's all it takes. <laughs> one and done, brother. <laughs> one and done. So we're gonna remove these bead locks now to let the, the tire. Oh, right in the storage bin. Right in the storage bin. So uh, that popped off a little sooner than we thought, but. A little easier, but we just place that uh, down and push the tire down off that secondary bead. So now we got it all off. Uh, this is time to inspect your wheel. Make sure there's no cracks in it. So Justin might have to break out the old Tiggy Tiggy and repair this one. 
Yeah. Okay, we had we had to switch shops due to some noise, but uh, what's we're, the next step? We're back on track. Okay, so we need to put the tire onto the rim now. Uh, what we're gonna want to check uh, is the rotation of the tire. Sometimes there's a particular rotation it needs to follow, but this one looks like it doesn't really matter. So we're good to put it on anyway. We want to make sure this bead is all lubed up. That is gonna be our friend, and. Uh, we're just gonna place her on and try to pop this bead on. What helps is if you get this bottom bead into this recessed part of the rim, it allows the tire to go and shoot over as much as possible. And you're gonna need every bit of help you can get to put on a fresh tire because it's really tight and it's not all stretched out. So. Yeah, well he said. Yeah. And there we have the first bead onto our rim. Now that we got that first bead on, is to throw the tube in. We're gonna wanna reinstall the valve core. This is gonna not allow air to come out of the tube and it's gonna prevent it from pinching and folding when we stuff it back into um, the rim. Yeah, she's all the way through. And I like to put this finger tightened all the way down. And what this does is when you're installing the tire, it doesn't allow the tube to rotate inside of the, the tire and rim and then put the valve stem at an angle. So here we got the bead lock and the rim strip. We're putting the rim strip over the bead lock so that it holds it kind of in place. So that this bead lock has room to travel so that we can get this bead seated first. But now that both bead locks are in, we are going to stuff the remainder of the tube. Big lube guy. Yeah. You know, you can never use enough lube. No. Nope. There ain't no problem with it. I never heard someone say, oh, it's too slippery or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ooh. we have that whole tube seated. So now we are going to begin the process of putting on this final bead. And this is gonna be the hardest one. Uh, but after that, she'll be ready to go get started. We'll take our tire irons and position ourselves across from a, a bead lock and just start. These are when the knees come in handy. As you can see, I have three hands right now and a whole hand free so I could just tickle guys over here and do whatever. I'll pick my nose. Okay, let's get this baby on. So this bead lock, what we're gonna wanna do to pop this bead on is Justin's gonna put pressure and push that bead lock away to allow the bead to fall into place. Do you see how this bead is getting really stretched out right now? To give us a little bit more slack, what I'm gonna do is push this bead on the other side down, which allows it to fall into this channel and give us a little bit more slack. That to extra work with. inch. Yeah, it's crucial. So, what you want is to have this fully pressed thin all the way when we pop this final bead on. And as you can see, slowly goes in, give her a little nudge. Oh, baby. And as you can see, Bead lock is mounted properly. Yeah, we're good. Yep, we're good. <laughs> so Justin's tightened down both bead locks, making sure they're nice and snug. Got the tire all on. Adjusted the, the adjusters so the chain's the right tightness. Yeah, you wanna make sure that's equal on both sides so your axle is nice, straight, and square. And there you go. You have yourself a new tire.